Welcome back to Sight Taking or Mountain training videos. In this video, I want to introduce the Sight Vision to you. If you've used Sight Vision before, there's a newer version that just came out, which is the DA2 option for the GPS receiver. Um, I wanted to introduce it to you, and if you haven't used it, I want to go through all the different steps that it can that it can perform um, through sight positioning for sight calibrations, for measuring stockpiles, for checking slopes, areas, boundaries, and most importantly, one of the coolest features of sight vision is the ability to load in the model, the 3D model, and the surface, and be able to go out and visualize it, kind of in an augmented reality option. It's a very very basic setup. What I've got here is the new uh, DA2 receiver itself. It's very, very lightweight, very small. The uh, pack right here to hold the battery on comes in the kit. This wraps around whatever pole you've got. And then this is the battery itself. It's pretty small, it's rechargeable. And then uh, we got an actual bracket like this that hooks on to the back of my phone. That is the beauty of this uh, augmented reality is you can use either your Sightworks TSC7 tablet, the uh, T5, you can use a, a iPhone now OS, you can use um, an iPad if you wanted to, and you can also use an Android device. So in our setup, what I'm gonna use for this video is my iPhone, it's an iPhone 15 that has the, uh, it's a Pro, so it has the ability to run LiDAR, which is one more reason why I wanted to use that in my, my videos is to show you when you're stock, doing stockpiles or measurements using both the GNNS position and also using the LiDAR option. You can use whatever pole you want. I've actually just taken a centerpiece right here from a backside, which is a two meter pole. And we will show you how to basically export the models out of Business Center how to get them out, there's an AR exporter for Sight Vision, and where to put them in uh, Trimble Connect. And I will go through that process now, and then we'll come back out here and actually show you that model out here, and how to measure up your pull, which is super, super simple. You just use a tape measure at that point. The workflow that I'm gonna show you is using Trimble Business Center. You don't have to use Trimble Business Center in order to get this workflow accomplished. If you have your model, you can get into Trimble Connect different ways and use different control systems. This is just the way that I want to show you how to do it. But right here, I've got my project for that back lot out back there. The way we're going to export this is a lot like a VCL file, where I'm going to have all the layers turned on that I want to see here, including the line or the surface in the background. So you can see in 3D, what I've got is our loading dock over here, and then I've got an actual building that I've just popped up just for the visual part of it. That's really not to scale for what's going to be built out there. Same thing for these other buildings over here, just where they're going to be. I've actually got um, an elevated surface just for the visual. So when I've got it to this point in the export tab, you've got quite a few different options here. But under the construction data tab, there's one in here down a little ways, about three quarters of the way down, called the Site Vision AR Exporter. This one's going to give us the Cal file, the TRB file. My business center here is already calibrated, so we'll get the Cal files and the other ones that we need from this export. So all I'm going to do is in my selection right here, I'm going to just highlight everything here like a VCL file. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, export that out. I'm going to go ahead and save it to this and hit export. Okay, once you open up Trimble Connect right here at the top, you can go ahead and see any projects that I already have in here. I have a set Site Tech Wheeler Salt Lake demo lot. In here, I've already got an actual uh, design in here, but I'm going to create a new one for the one that we just exported out. So I'm going to hit this add button over here and I'm going to create a folder. We'll just call this the Site Tech Southwest Corner um, with Buildings. So I'm going to submit that. It'll create me a folder right here. So all I got to do is open this up, and then on the right side here, I can hit Add, and I can upload files. So I can either drag and drop them, or I can browse and find those files. I'm going to browse. Once I've found my files right here, the .cal, TRB, and VCL, I'm going to go ahead and just highlight all three of those and hit open. And now on the bottom right here, you can see that it's uploading those files. 
Once these files are in here, they're good to go. That's all I got to do. Now I can just go retrieve them from out in the field from the Site Vision app that's loaded up on the phone. Once you start the Site Vision app on your phone, the first thing you want to do is go to the Tools option here and go to the Configuration, and you're going to want to set up the information for the, the pole that you're using. It can be configured differently for each one, but you have to have a height of the pole and then an X, Y, Z, as you see here. Those can be just done with a tape measure, and it's just to where the center of the pole is in relation to the camera. Go through these steps right here, and then you can go ahead and go out. All right, now once you have the app on your phone and you've loaded all the designs, this is my setup right here with this pole. Um, like I said, it's just my iPhone on here. You can get bigger tablets or different options. I've got the battery hooked at the top here, and I've got the GPS receiver on the top here. All you got to do is just turn it on right there. Once you're here, you just start the Trimble Sight Vision app up, and it'll go ahead and sign in. What you can do is with this menu at the bottom right here, you can go to Load Model, and you can go to Trimble Connect, and all the way back to the very beginning. And right here, I've got the Sight Tech Wheeler demo lot. So right here, I've got the two different options. It's connected to the DA2 through Bluetooth. So in here, now I've got my site, site tech finish grade with buildings and then just the normal flat surface out here. So I've got the one with the flat surface and the building sticking up. I will do one that has utilities in the bottom here in the future, but all I have to do is load that and then load that one right there. And at the bottom here, it'll say Site Tech Southwest with buildings, the .trb, and I hit the little green right there to have it load. Now, the only thing that's left is I've got to actually connect up to my um, either radio. If you were using a, T a TSC-7, you can hook up to a local base. This one has the Trimble Hub option, or in our case, I'm going to use VRS. So I'm going to go ahead and come into the menu. And I'm going to go to Tools, and I'm going to go to GNNS Settings. And in here, I'm going to use the same source, the end trip, and I'm going to go ahead and fetch for our server account. And I'm going to go ahead and save and connect. So it's going to restart the correction service. Now that that correction service is on, you can see at the top left, it's look at, it's got 27 satellites. But it wants me to hold the antenna up and just wait a minute. Well, it goes ahead and makes that connection at that point. And then what it'll do is it'll have me walk straight forward for about 10 yards. That number can be changed. So now it says walk at least 10 yards straight. It'll count down as you're doing this. Now, as soon as I've actually got to that point, I can start looking up and it looks like there's kind of a ceiling right here. That's because I'm inside that building. So as soon as I walk outside right here, I'll show you how the uh, transparency works. So as soon as I get out there, what I can do is turn this transparency up or down so if I turn that transparency all the way up, you can see that I was actually just inside the building and that's why it looked like there was a ceiling. Now, as soon as I walk around, I can go ahead and just start visualizing my job site. So over there is the two buildings as you come in, the main road, right here is the parking, the semi-parking I had set, and then here is the actual edge of that building. Now, you can turn those layers on and off. If I walk over here, you'll actually see the pond. So right here is the edge of that pond that I built, the new one with those control points that recorded. You can see where my utilities are gonna come in and out. And if I look over, I can actually see where the building is going to be. And then I can turn back this way and see where the building's gonna be over here. Now you can change that transparency by sliding that slide bar down there. Okay. 
At the top right here, you can hit the layers button and you can actually turn on and off specific things. So existing fence, you can turn off the new design if you needed to and just see the surface. Or you can go to the bottom and actually turn the design off, which will just show you the line work out there. So now you can see the rim of the building, the actual line work, which is my utilities coming in. Here's my blue edge of pavement and back of curb and then the actual grading lines or contour lines if you will for the pond all that stuff can be turned on and off at this point existing topo whatever you need to turn on and off at that point so that's how you take the files from trimble business center export them out put them in the field out here and load it into the data collector Here's a model that we overlaid over an area where they're actually building a new interchange. This is going to be where the road will come down. You can see the line work as we turn on and off the transparency. It's still in process, but in the distance there, you can see where a bridge is going to be that's not even existing at this point. Building in a bridge right there, rechanging the road and extending an existing bridge. Thanks for watching this video from Site Tech Intermountain on the basics of Site Vision, the new DA2 option, exporting out designs and models and uh, seeing how it lays out on the job site.